Hello everyone, my name is Sorin Shah and I'm a product manager in Snowflake. Uh, today I'm going to talk about Apache Polaris catalog and Snowflake Horizon catalog and how do these two interact with each other. If you all are aware, Apache Polaris catalog uh, or the open source catalog for Apache Iceberg, uh, it, that's something that we recently launched in public preview about a couple of months ago. And the Snowflake Horizon catalog is the built-in catalog in Snowflake uh, accounts. And that has been there for a very long time for since actually Snowflake was Snowflake started. Um, so let me see, let me talk about how do these two interact with each other. Uh, in the diagram over here, you see the Horizon catalog. The Horizon catalog stores a bunch of objects. Um, it has been there for a very long time. So it stores uh, Snowflake native tables, it stores views, uh, functions, data products, marketplace information, and a lot of, uh, or actually all of the functionality that Snowflake supports today. The Apache uh, Polaris catalog, which is on the right side, it's primarily built for Iceberg. Uh, both of these are designed to be separate products uh, because they cater to separate uh, different personas as well. However, it is very important to have a very strong relationship or a very strong integration between the Horizon catalog and the Polaris catalog. So that's what I'm going to focus on uh, right now. Uh, conceptually, you should think about uh, the iceberg objects. The storage for the iceberg objects sits on cloud storage, and then the iceberg objects are created within the Polaris catalog. Any external tools like Apache Flink, Apache Spark, Trino, Snowflake, um, all of these tools can read and write tables into the Polaris catalog. And within the Horizon catalog, there is a shadow entity or there is a, 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 a table, an iceberg table that points to the tables which are created in the Polaris catalog. So why is this shadow entity needed? So this entity is needed because this entity makes the iceberg table part of the Horizon ecosystem. And after it's part of the Horizon ecosystem, uh, then everything within the Horizon uh, ecosystem, all functionalities can work with the iceberg tables. Okay, so, so that's very quick overview. So let's go and see a quick demo about this one. So here I have a Polaris catalog UI uh, and a Polaris catalog account. Uh, it has a few functionalities. So let me walk over some of these functionalities. In the Polaris catalog account, you can create multiple different catalogs and you can manage all of the catalogs using this pane. Then there is connections and these connections are service principles, which other external tools like Apache Spark or Trino or Snowflake can use to connect with Polaris catalog. And finally, Polaris Catalog comes in with built-in RBAC um, and you can manage roles in the catalog as well as associated privileges that can be assigned to these roles to manage all of the iceberg tables. For the purposes of this demo, I have created a couple of catalogs. So let me show you these ones. So one is the demo catalog and I have a few namespaces in there. I've created a couple of connections. So one is a Spark connection and one is a Snowflake connection. The Spark connection is used by Apache Spark to connect with Polaris catalog. And likewise, Snowflake connection is used by Snowflake to connect with the Polaris catalog. If you see the Spark connection, you will see that I have associated a principal role called the Spark admin principal role with this connection. This principal role is something that I'm going to use in the catalogs. So let me walk you through some of the specifics of the catalog. If you notice the catalog over here, the storage for this catalog is on S3 at this bucket location. I have an S3 role that has read and write privileges so that the Polaris catalog can read and write files uh, into the storage location. And then I have an IAM user that the Polaris account has created. And there is a trust relationship between this IAM user and the S3 role. Now let's look at the roles. Uh, so I have catalog roles called a Spark catalog role, which has catalog managed content uh, privileges associated. The managed content privileges gives the role an ability to create tables, drop tables, read tables, write tables as well. I can easily go and change the privileges if I want to go and change the privileges and have really fine-grained privileges if I want to. 
the catalog role is now associated or it's uh, associated with the principal role which the spark connection has so that's how everything is basically wired together okay so now let's go to my jupyter notebook uh, where i have spark running so in the jupyter notebook you will see that i have created a spark session and in the spark session i am configuring a catalog the catalog points to my polaris account which you can see over here and the there is credentials that are associated and this is the credentials for the spark connection to connect to the polaris catalog here is the demo catalog that you can see once i've configured spark session you will see that uh, i can do namespaces and i can see the spark demo namespace i can use the spark demo namespace and i can see say show tables and when i do the show tables you will see that there is a table called a test table the test table has just very three simple columns an id and a name and an email and i mainly chose these ones because i wanted to have some tables with pii information if i do a select star from the table you will see that i have three different rows over here uh, these are just sample dummy data that i have this table i have created it using spark and i have inserted a few rows over there now what i really want to do is i want to use snowflake uh, to query this table and along with using snowflake i want to use all of the functionalities that uh, that snow the horizon catalog provides so i can go to snowflake and the way to go and uh, configure polaris is by configuring the external volume to point to the s3 location where iceworks tables are and create a polaris catalog integration so in the polaris catalog integration uh, i'm doing very similar things on how i was configuring spark session on spark i am using the catalog uri which points to my polaris catalog i'm using the catalog name which is the demo underscore catalog and i'm using the secrets which is the client id and the client secret to communicate to connect polaris uh, or to connect snowflake to the polaris catalog once i have configured all of that you will see that i have i'm creating a test table over here so in the test table i'm using the polaris catalog integration i'm using the uh, external volume i'm configuring or mapping this polaris or the horizon table to this polaris table with an auto refresh equal to true so i have once i have created this iceberg table if you remember the slide deck before this table is really like a shadow entity that is created in horizon but it actually points to the test table which is in the polaris catalog so the advantage of this shadow entity is that i can now start querying this entity from snowflake itself but at the same time i can apply this entity and use this entity and apply any of the horizon functionalities over here in the next part of the demo i'm going to show you how i can use a dynamic data masking which is available uh, like one of the most popular governance features uh, in horizon catalog and i can use this dynamic data masking on the iceberg table or the polaris table so here i have created a masking policy uh, the masking policy is extremely simple if the role is an account admin then show everything else just mask out the emails information i can apply the masking policy on the test table and let's switch over to an analyst role once i have switched to an analyst role if i create a select star from the table you will see that all of the emails are masked now this was a very simple masking policy very simple demo to showcase the functionality of horizon uh, and how it applies to polaris catalogs but it doesn't have to stop at that you can take any of the horizon functionalities like universal search row policies column policies tagging classification marketplace listing and then apply to the polaris tables that we have created by apache spark in polaris catalog so that's all about the demo hope you liked it and uh, if you want to know more about horizon catalog or polaris catalog feel free to look at our documentation we have extensive documentation and code examples okay. thank you